Amalanchia alnophilia, the Saskatoon, Pacific Service Spirit, Western Service Spirit, Alder Leaf Shadbush, Dwarf Shadbush, Chartley Pear, or Western Juneberry, is a shrub with edible berry like fruit, native to North America from Alaska across most of Western Canada and in the Western and North Central United States. Historically, it was also called pigeon berry. It grows from sea level in the north of the range up to 2,600 meters elevation in California and 3,400 meters in the Rocky Mountains, and is a common shrub in the forest understory. Etymology The name Saskatoon derives from the Cree inanimate noun Misasquatomina. The city of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, is named after the berry. Description. It is a deciduous shrub, a small tree that can grow to 1 to 8 meters in height. Its growth form spans from suckering and forming colonies to clumped. The leaves are oval to nearly circular, 2 to 5 centimeters long and 1 to 4.5 centimeters broad, on a 0.5 to 2 centimeters leaf stem, margin toothed mostly above the middle. As with all species in the genus Amelanchia, the flowers are white, with five quite separate petals. In A. Alnifolia, they are about 2 to 3 centimeters across, and appear on short racemes of 3 to 20 somewhat crowded together. In spring while the new leaves are still expanding, the fruit is a small purple palmer 5 to 15 millimeters in diameter, ripening in early summer in the coastal areas and late summer further inland. Varieties the three varieties are A.A. V.A.R. Alnophilia, northeastern part of the species range. A.A. V.A.R. Pumilla A. Nelson, Rocky Mountains, Sierra Nevada. A.A. V.A.R. Semiintegrifolia C. L. Hitch C. Pacific Coastal Regions, Alaska to northwestern California. Cultivation and uses. Seedlings are planted with 13 to 20 feet between rows and 1.5 to 3 feet between plants. An individual bush may bear fruit 30 or more years. Saskatoons are adaptable to most soil types with exception of poorly drained or heavy clay soils lacking organic matter. Shallow soils should be avoided, especially if the water table is high or erratic. Winter hardiness is exceptional, but frost can damage blooms as late as May. Large amounts of sunshine are needed for fruit ripening. With a sweet, nutty taste, the fruits have long been eaten by Canada's Aboriginal people, fresh or dried. They are well known as an ingredient in pemmican, a preparation of dried meat to which Saskatoon berries are added as flavor and preservative. They are also often used in pies, jam, wines, cider, beers, and sugar-infused berries similar to dried crab. Cranberries used for cereals, trail mix, and snack foods. In 2004, the British Food Standards Agency suspended Saskatoon berries from retail sales pending safety testing. The ban eventually was lifted after pressure from the European Union. Diseases and Pests a. Alnifolia is susceptible to cedar apple rust. Nutrients. Saskatoon berries contain significant amounts of total dietary fiber, vitamins B2 and biotin, and the essential minerals iron and manganese, a nutrient profile similar to the content of blueberries, notable for polyphenol antioxidants also similar in composition to blueberries. Saskatoons have total phenolics of 450. 52 mg per 100 g. Flavonols and anthocyanins, although others have found the phenolic values to be either lower in the smoky cultivar or higher. Quercetin, cyanidin, delvinidin, pelagonidin, petunidin, peonidin, and malvidin were polyphenols present in Saskatoon berries. 